Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Q Design. I'm Janine and in today's tutorial, this is part two of my last tutorial where I show you how to create the game scene for your first uh, 2D uh, game, your first 2D game setting and um, the animation for your um, emoji in this case and your uh, targets you want want to avoid and want to hit so you can uh, create a score and in this tutorial I show you how to create the logic behind your scene so that you can uh, count the scores and also when you hit one of the errors the uh, game over um, scene PNG or animation sequence starts like in this case well, uh, I see the score right here and when I hit the tab, the score goes back to zero. So let's start with part two of that tutorial. Okay, let's start with the part two with our uh, game logic and with the end of the game and the scoring, the counter. And uh, at first, um, just to uh, remember what we uh, create in part one this is part two we created uh, the motion of our background we see right now the motion of our scores the emoji this is one right here and our arrows this little uh, bodies right here and um, I just stop right now so it's not uh, too confusing and for the next step we created in the last part before and uh, we need to make sure that we find the information when our um, um, targets hit each other. So when when the when does uh, this um, emoji hit one of the stars or one of the arrows? So we created this. Maybe you remember a little bit closer. This is the information for our position and. Um, we also needed the x, the x and the y axis, uh, and uh, unpack them uh, for our um, for our uh, system, so we can score this information, um, or, or uh, make sure that in this score uh, information, so that we when uh, the emoji hit one of the scores, we. Uh, add a point to our score and when one of the emo when the emoji wa hits one of the errors so that the game is over and we stop counting um, the score and um, we need make, sh make sure that when we tap um, the screen again the star uh, the game will start over again when we start with the first one so uh, so that you see how it works um, I switch every target we have off and um, ju just to make sure you just see the first target and the emoji so you really understand uh, what we're doing so the visibility off and we just have the emoji right here so right here and the score right here and we need the information of x and y so we start whoops once sorry we start with this one and go to equal so we want to know if uh, the score equal uh, the x is equal the emoji x something then will happen this one and this one and we want to make a tolerance of 50 in this case and we want to make sure, and you, now you see that um, the x is uh, in the same. So uh, the x of the emoji and the x of the score is uh, uh, with intolerance of 50. Um, we hit each other, uh, it's hitting each other, each other. So, so this is equal x. And now we need an equal for our y. And uh, this one uh, doesn't hit each other, my baby. Oh. Yes. 
I had it's not so easy yeah maybe you can create maybe 100 to make it a little bit easier to score points yes Good. And now you see um, how uh, this module works. And we need uh, this one for our um, other two. So copy this. This one off. This one off. Right here. Right here. You just, when you copy uh, these information, you just to make sure that you. Um, count the second score and a copy of this one we don't need this we don't need this we need this information right here and this information right here so the emoji has three different targets right here so and now you see this is hitting right ah okay we don't see uh, the other two and now you see it's maybe a little bit too much maybe 70 is okay yeah And now we want to count um, this uh, hits. And um, um, we want to make sure that we um, just, that is okay when you hit two targets or just one target. So uh, we need to create an R. So if you, um, R. Okay, wait. And here. So it's okay when you just hit this, when you hit this one or this one or this one or that one and uh, to make sure that every, um, if you had hit one of these, you can, uh, um, we create a counter. So there's a pause. So that is insert. And we start uh, with the counting by zero and maybe ends with uh, 999. So now uh, what we need is, of course, a new um, canvas. And this is our score text. And add to this two text. This is our text score. So this the text where uh, you find the word score, score in it. And we need another one for our score itself. So this one is number. And we create these uh, will be white scale will fit and now our bold text text so here I just put a number in so okay this is a little bit too much too big maybe 40 is okay and in this one was call it score OK, 
Okay, um, now we need a script for our score. So um, we need to make sure that we um, see uh, the information, so the output of our score in uh, these um, text called number. So uh, create a script and we in and create this one and uh, this one called itself uh, score. That's maybe because I um, make uh, <laughs> this tutorial before I make uh, this is my second take. <laughs> and that's uh, there uh, is uh, the name. So you can name it uh, score in this case. And double click right here. And oops, now we need for some information. So we need don't need that. We need the information of our um, scene. So we're searching the scene for our um, 2D um, um, text and we need the patches patches. So we're searching in the patches for our information patches, our output um, from our counter. And we now now start to create um, a value or um, called um, this one um, like called like um, counter counter equal as uh, we searching for the scene um, root and find our number. And we need another one for our score. So, and we want to create a string uh, so that we um, the output um, is the is um, text information. So we go to searching for our patches, uh, so this one right here, and go to get um, scalar value from our score right here and now you create the counter dot text so it's the text you use and uh, the score string To string and leave this empty because uh, it's searching for the string um, uh, the counters number or the counter number and uh, now it's just uh, the um, zero uh, save it and let's try it oops And it counts. Yay! <laughs> Perfect. So this was very easy <laughs> the second time. And now we want to create, um, it's uh, the same like um, with our scores. We want to create our, just put this back, uh, want to create our arrows. I just want to make sure we see them uh, in the next step. These both right here, I think. And uh, you can, uh, like in the other, uh, like uh, before, copy this one and paste it. Yep. Make sure the first uh, links are uh, deleted. This were ways this were for from the score two in this case, and make sure you attach the arrows to the equals. So, um, oh sorry, not this one. This is what for the first one. So, use your imagination for the second one. This is uh, the x uh, the the. Um, y inform the information for the 
y x so so we have two arrows in this case so we just need one or it's not like um, when you have if you have more arrows so make sure you have more ors and you can um, you have you can to make it a little bit more easier to count uh, the score or score and um, difficult to um, hit one of the arrows by um, modifier the tolerance I um, uh, it's okay for me to put it uh, by maybe 50 so that this target is have not so much tolerance <laughs> okay and now we want to uh, create our game over patch uh, game over um, PNG or game over um, layer. I call it layer in this case. So uh, make sure you create a canvas. Canvas and this canvas is over the score. So when you see the game over um, scene or something like that, I don't know how we will call it. Um, so you see the score again. Um, and we game over screen call it like that and add a rectangle into that um, if you create a rectangle or maybe you create um, another layer maybe maybe a canvas or something like that uh, uh, I created in this case create a new material and uh, the name is mm, game over match and I want to make sure that my, this one game over um, so this is um, the material from this one I want to make it flat like um, in the other tutorial, all my um, informations, all my um, game elements are flat. Um, so that there's no light involved in on uh, this uh, screen or this rectangle. And I want to make a new animation sequence because I created an animation sequence for my last um, a scene or a screen and new image texture and uh, this one is my last scene and I select all of them okay it's um, counting so this is um, um, I um, restart um, it. This is my last frame and you see the last frame because I um, switch the visibility off. So I now I want to create uh, if it hits the one of the arrows uh, make sure that the last uh, this game right here is visible as um, so that my rec this rectangle is visible for all of you so go to a switch so there's a pause and i you need don't do you make sure that one is not on flip it's on turn on and I hope I can explain it later why. It's a little bit confusing sometimes. And uh, now this is, uh, now we just start a game and maybe, whoop. okay, I hit it. And you see the score is uh, still counting. So when I hit the score, um, it counts. And when I click on a, a this um, a tab on the screen, nothing happened. So I'll start again. What we want to create now is to make sure when I hit the screen tab again uh, that the game 
over or the game will start again. So I have this play value, you know, uh, you maybe um, remember from the last part, we created a screen tab and a switch and a value that uh, when you tap it switch on. And now I want to make sure I restart. Yes. Now I want to make. I now I want to make sure that I uh, create another value. And this is also a boolean, so it's uh, yes or no. I, can't, I, I think so. That uh, play as a start play or uh, so the play is started maybe like that and when this starts this one the switch is off but we don't want to use this turn on we want to use this turn off so make sure so we have two informations. We have uh, for this switch the information when it when I hit one of these arrows, uh, the game is over. But when I uh, screen tap uh, the and the start, I start the game, then this switch is off, and not uh, like this one. So it flips on and off. So uh, it just have these two information. Uh, it's on, uh, game over, it's off, um, the game over is uh, invisible or is not visible. And I tap again and it's visible again. But we have the problem with uh, the score. Now we make, have to make sure that when I score that when I start the uh, screen tap again, this uh, the score will start with uh, the null. So it's up right here. We put this a little bit lower so we can see our counter and of course our score. And we want to make sure if um, the play starts, the pulse turned on and we jump to our zero again. Start the game. So tap again for the score. But we want to make sure that we don't score if uh, we hit um, the game over. And that's the last piece of um, information. So we make sure if the switch is turned on or not. And... So put this one right here and the start we have we started the game is that right no and we started the game and There. So this looks a little bit confusing, yes, I know. Put this one right here. I hope it works. Oh. Okay, start over again. Hello. And now I see there's no counting and when I... Oops. Okay, it's a lazy game. <laughs> uh, this is uh, the easiest version for, oh yes. So um, this is 
at the end. Um, so this is really confusing, I know. So when I, if the switch not is on and the start and the value of the start playing is on, and so we tap the screen, then this both has to be uh, checked. Then uh, it can count again or something like that. I, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> it's, um, it's logic. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And um, well, make sure you hit the notification bell, share uh, this um, tutorial with someone who wants to see this. And well, when you have questions or great ideas for new tutorials, uh, make sure you send me a comment or a message via um, Instagram at Kino Design and DM is okay. And yes, thank you very much and enjoy the process. Bye bye.